Hello again. Today's topic is logo customization. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to add the Micro Rooster logo to my MicroStrategy uh, project. There's a more complex and involved way using the SDK, but I want to show you a method that does not involve the SDK and is simple to use. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is what we're doing. This logo is what we're attempting to change, okay? And there's an ASB version and a Java version, so let's just do the uh, ASB version because that's what I have, but I'll also provide you the information for the other type. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need a logo that's 50 pixels. So let's see if I have it here. So this is a 50 pixel by 50 pixel dot GIF, so create your own image, shrink it to 50 pixels to fit in properly. And you can use paint to shrink or resize to 50 pixels. Save it as uh, whatever you want, dot GIF, okay? So that's the first step we're gonna do. I already resized this, and if I wanna open it with paint to show you what I mean by resizing, is this option that lets you resize by pixel and you can choose 50 by 50. Okay, so now that once your uh, image is ready, we're gonna go place it in a folder called Replacing MicroStrategy Web Button and it's got a style, images, and this is where you're gonna save it and we're gonna rename it as project.gif, okay? So that's the first step after resizing rename it project.gif, drop it in this image folder. In this image folder, there's also another file. And this is the file, it's a simple text file, points to this project logo that we're adding. And if you notice, there's a bunch of links that we're gonna embed into MicroStrategy altogether. Uh, you can feel free if you know more to go ahead and play with these settings and create your own different uh, custom uh, logo or custom configuration but this is straightforward and if you notice here it shows that the source is going to be placed into this folder obviously if you rename this folder or rename from project to something else you can always rename everything here so you don't have to use the naming mechanism that I'm using but if you change it you have to go and change it over here once you have this file and this file is already you don't have to rewrite it, it's already available to you. So I'll send you a link to it. But if you did, that's what the information, and here's the master folder which has the style in it, okay? So once we have that information, we're gonna go into our plugins folder, into my strategy. This is the ASP version, so I'm gonna go to the web ASP and plugins. And I'm going to have to place it right here. So I'm going to drag this. I'm going to drop it somewhere here. All right, there it is. And now I'm ready to go. Finally, in the ASP situation, the .NET, I'm going to have to go and restart my web server. You can ask your admin to restart your web server if you're on a bigger environment. And I'm going to restart this guy. And now if I open my browser, I will see my new icon popped in. My circle here was on the edges, so you might want to shrink your image a little bit smaller than the 50 pixels just to fit all in if that was your goal. All right, and thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you again.